Hello and welcome to Kerbal. My name is Tyler and we're playing with rovers today. Thought I'd get a good uh, discussion in about what I want to plan to do. Um, so this is a rover that I had designed and tested. Seems to work pretty well. Uh, I wasn't super satisfied for it and I'm mainly going for stability. So, let's see. Yes, the uh, <laughs> the module's name is Lenny. Uh, I got some kind of problem with that name, but... Uh, let's see. So this is here. Oop, that's not supposed to be there. Tried that, and did not work out too well. So it's kind of an upgrade from the, the one you just saw. I've put a carriage in the front. This is our external command seat. And I've still not fully tested it, so let's kind of check it out and see. Gotta put jazz there. I think it's jazz. Sounds more like elevator music, but I'm not, not judging anybody. Let's see. F. Nope, nope, nope. What? Okay. Yep. Yep. Let me right click on that. And I can do board. And then there we go. We got Burzor. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to pronounce these names. So we got Burzor Kerman here. And let's test this out. Might not be super stable since I have no back weight, but I think the way that the carriage is supported, I don't think that'll be an issue. So second test here, let me just get up the, is that meters per second? Okay. Let's just go ahead and do a sharp turn. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> a little bit off the ground there. Okay, so these are my rovers. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's go ahead and slow down. Yeah, I'll get over to these guys in just a second. I just gotta slow this guy down. What the hell was that? Oh, yeah. I put a decoupler on there because I wanted this to be the main. There's a severe problem, and or at least a problem I have with it, is the... What the hell? That decoupler is just stocked with explosives. Okay, slow down, slow down. Alright. Do a quick stop here. So we have the Terraformer um, that was a, initially a land-based rover that I'd thought up. Uh, thought it'd be fun to go on a type of rescue mission for any landed uh, Kerbals. Is that right? I don't know. Any landed Kerbal on the Kerbin surface, I could go pick them up. And there was supposed to be attached a, uh, the, the, um, five-seater little, com uh, command pod thing. I don't remember what it was called specifically. And then we have Lenny. Lenny, this is the manned version. This will have people in it. I don't want to send a rover with people in it. Uh... Unless it's completely, you know, stocked. Like this. This would be pretty good. But I also wanted to send unmanned probes and things like that to scout the surface. Uh, just to practice anyway for when they develop career mode and you actually have to put up a plan to bring Kerbals back. I wanted to create um, 
successful probes before I sent off manned vehicles, which is obviously what the real NASA space program does. So um, you don't want to send these guys into space. And plus, you know, I, I don't know. I think it helps with the illusion of playing the game like a real space program. Even though you're free playing it, you, you get these Kerbals back if they die. Um, and honestly, there's no current repercussion for sending a live Kerbal to a planet you have no intention of going back to. But, you know, I think what it comes down to, what I hate really saying, is it's kind of make-believe uh, when it comes down to it. But... You know, as goofy as that is, uh, you get an attachment to these sorts of things. I'm sure anybody who's played this game doesn't want to send a live Kerbal up to a planet that they're not going to come back to. So, you can just as well use an unmanned pod as opposed to a manned pod just as easily. So it doesn't really matter in the long run. This one was an auto rover that I made. I have... I, I didn't put the automatic... Not automatic, but the already open solar panels on it, so it's it's currently dead. But uh, this guy is just doing phenomenally well. Let's turn the turbo up, see how he takes structural. Now this is, I remember reading, oh, no, 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 no. I remember reading that these tires get up to 60 miles, 60 meters per second. So I'm going to try to test that. I tried doing that with the jet engine. That's what you saw earlier. That was kind of a mistake. It puts a little too much power in it. Even at a low, even right, like right down here on my uh, throttle. Even at that length, it still kind of caused a bit of a rift. And then, earlier, I tried to do a trick shot over to this island. I just got within an inch of it and uh, couldn't, couldn't get there. I don't know if there's a Easter egg or anything like that. I know that they've said that they wanted to kind of keep the Easter eggs a super secret but I just I wanted to see maybe record it but didn't make it so didn't record it <laughs> honestly I don't like recording failures if anything I'd like to record the creations and their successes um, I really like to see how far this game can be stretched and as, as with any game I play uh, Nomoria, Terraria Minecraft anything like that I want to see how what I can build and how awesome I can build it uh, for my own personal uh, satisfaction, I guess. But uh, you know, this there's there's more to add to this utility-wise. I just wanted to make a stable model, and I bet I can do this. That might be the terraformer. Oop! What's going on? Okay, froze up for a second. I think. The... Come on, dude! Why are you doing this? I think that the Terraformer Mark II could have this structure and then a bottom-down uh, type of thing. This this piece right here is a freaking miracle for building spaceships. Um, you know, at previously we had the spaceship, uh, the space station launch for the first episode. And what I'm planning on doing, once I can get docking down, and it's a freaking mess to get docking down, I'm going to try to read more up on that. I'm going to try to attach as many engines as possible. And what will happen is I'm going to develop it to be a... It's going to be probably, for the moment anyway, as long as there's no different parts to add uh, to the game itself, it's probably going to be a one one shot launch to a different planet. And I'm thinking that the coolest place to go to 
with so many moons and such would be uh, Jewel. I think that that would be a pretty cool um, idea to do. All the tires aren't broken or nothing. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to use this for the next Terraformer. Um, the, the objective, really, for these rovers is to make them light enough. Minimus is too light. And I'm sorry, Minmus. I actually had to retract a lot of what I wrote because uh, I, talking with my friend the other day, I noticed that the he, he mentioned that Min, Minmus is pronounced Minmus, not Minimus. And I had always thought Minimus. And I guess I just never really thought of it. I thought because it's so small that Minimus was an appropriate name. And I guess I never really paid attention to the spelling too much. So that's just what I've been calling it this entire time. In fact, let's gonna go ahead and call it out right here. Minmus. Shoo. I'd say I've got a pretty good rover base for the future. It's only when I'm recording, you know, that uh, I get these ideas to change things up a bit. So next episode you should see a whole new set of rovers. I freaking love building in this game. Uh, well actually in any game that you're gonna see coming up. Uh, Minecraft obviously you know I have that huge map that I built the town of Witherhaven and Nomoria. I'm working on Nomoria. I, I'd love to do Nomoria as a video but it takes a long time to get anything done and I'm thinking for a really good video it'd have to be a once a week or a twice a week video because the amount of time it takes to do anything in that game to get everything straight um, probably really only good for maybe a couple 15 minute videos with any good stuff in it not that there's not not that the game's not good it's a great game and it is really fun to play the technicality of it all is amazing and I'd love to do that and it is you know they are pretty cool on YouTube videos so it's you know it's it's just a simple matter of recording it but I'm just I'm still working on you know each gnome has their own job and uh, you can modify all those things there's a lot of room to room to grow in that game and I'm just kinda of feeling it out I only just uh, got it so um, well, I guess we're just going to move on, and uh, I'm going to be right back. We're still going to discuss a few more things about the rovers, and then we're going to start trying to dock, uh, and actually try to get a lander on Minimus or the moon. Might even shoot for Duna. I've been looking at Duna. I've tried to get to Duna with, with uh, the robot version of this Lenny, and... It worked for a second, but then uh, uh, Duna's atmosphere is extremely short. You start to get to that uh, atmospheric burn almost about maybe a minute or so before you have to land. And the parachute deploys way too late. For my vehicle, anyway. I mean, I guess this one's overweight, but we shouldn't have a problem with this one now. So, uh, next video we're going to keep discussing rovers other than that uh after that we're gonna go to duna um so i'll be right back <laughs>